welcome back to part two of Cheeseburger Gate and setting boundaries and limits. The plot thickens. The person who told me to fuck off because I couldn't get them a cheeseburger because the place where I go, the gas station that I go, was out for the past couple of days. They've been out of cheeseburgers. I had dinner tonight and I couldn't eat the dinner because it was disgusting, so I didn't eat it. So I came down to the gas station and I walk in and the area where the grab and go food is, where the cheeseburgers normally are, is completely stocked full. Yes, cheeseburgers are here. Because of what my friend said, my former friend said, which was she received $400 today from a friend and she told me to fuck off and she doesn't have to kiss my ass no more to try to get a cheeseburger out of me. If you watched my previous video, I got onto food stamps because I'm at a shelter, rebooting my life, and food stamps are there for those who qualify. And I qualify. They don't just give it to anybody, you have to qualify for it. And I meet the criteria. And I came down here for a milkshake and a cookie. And I walked in and I saw the cheeseburger. It's available. My, I would have gotten her the cheeseburger tonight if what she said didn't happen. But it was like the, the gas station or the universe saying, this person does not deserve the cheeseburger. She does not deserve it. She overstepped her boundaries and yeah, karma's a bitch. We'll just say that I believe in karma 100% and this is karma coming back. She would have gotten it if she didn't open her mouth. But because she opened her mouth, that happened. And she was always telling me since I got here to go to the boutique, which I mentioned in my previous video, it's the, the local store for the shelter. Airplane. Near the airport. Um, she, again, lost my train of thought. Public transportation, you know, making loud noises. And I, and I get distracted very easily, so bear with me. Um, yeah, so this is karma coming back at her, not me. She blamed me for not being able to uh, get her the cheeseburger because she was blaming me for not getting it. But the gas station was out. But now they're stock full. So I just think it's funny. Setting limits and boundaries for people and it comes back and karma will kick your ass. It, karma's a bitch, 100%. I believe in it. And most, the majority believe in it too. So, moral of the story is please, watch who you become friends with, watch your back, watch your money, and watch what you say around people. When you say you have something, other people are going to attach to you like moths to a light. They're going to say, you have what I want and I'm going to leave you high and dry. I'm going to drain you. And if I didn't set the limits, they would have drained me. It's okay to help someone out, but they were drained. And I got to be honest, karma is real and I now know what it feels like. And I personally want to apologize to the people that were in my life that have decided to come back through this whole five, six years of the shit show I call my life. <laughs> this carnival ride that finally, I finally got off the shit show carnival ride. I finally found peace. And I want to personally apologize to everyone that, um, that I did that to. I had to learn about boundaries, limits, and respect it. When I was trying to find the, per the place or the person to help me, it was like Ghostbusters. Are you the gatekeeper? Are you the gatekeeper? Are you the gatekeeper? I was getting vibes as people to help me, but they could only help me so far. My parents, um, friends, family, facilities, everywhere. I was like, are you the one? Are you the one? Are you the one? But this is the one, this is the place that I needed to be at. This facility is amazing. This shelter, I wish every city could have one. 
because if every city had one of these shelters, there would be nobody homeless. There would be resources. There would be advantages. I feel this place should have another place which is attached to like tiny homes. Tiny homes are a thing now. If single people who are homeless, I feel should each receive a tiny home from this facility. So that way they have their own little tiny home with just like a one bedroom thing with a bathroom and a kitchen. <laughs> and um, I wish everyone could have that, like having a, a tiny home for those that is just them and the, like their dog or cat or whatever. I think that should be a thing. So if you support that, definitely support it. In the description of this video, you'll see the Hero Fund. And the Hero Fund is going to be going to the facility that, um, that I'm staying at, the women's shelter. And it's as a thank you for um, supplying me with a roof over my head, the food that I can eat, and um, being able to take a shower and sleep and my dog to be here. I mean, they hooked up my dog. Before I got here, they said, your dog needs to be vaccinated and everything. She got licensed, vaccinated, rabies shot, she got um, everything, the license and microchipped, all that. And her nails done all in one day. So for the first like four days, she wasn't her normal self. And she was adjusting to the place where we were living at. Going from a motel room to a park, to a facility that has over a hundred people, more than a hundred people, easy. So it's not easy on her, but now we're adjusted. We know where we stand. And I wouldn't never, ever, ever take this opportunity for granted. And every woman that I know that I've connected with there, the majority are very grateful for these opportunities. The ones that aren't are the ones that don't give a shit the ones that are just there for the free ride and not there to get the whole experience. I'm there for the whole experience. Feeling like you're being catered to and I always, always be on my best behavior. I help out, I volunteer, I clean. I'm very friendly with the staff. The staff has been amazingly helpful and they're so sweet. And they're like, you're so calm, you're so peaceful. I said, because this place has given me peace. I've never felt this comfortable before. I feel like I'm at a resort, even though it's basic. It's basic, but that I'm a basic person. I want as simple as possible. I don't care how wealthy I get in my life, I will still shop at the dollar store. I will still shop at Walmart. <laughs> I will still be a basic person. Going to the movies instead of like flying to Hawaii or whatever. Just enjoying the little things. Taking a walk outside. Going around nature. Being around family. Enjoying that. Participating. It's very hard to participate when you have depression and anxiety. And I had that. But I don't no more. And I was using um, CBD THC oil like water when I, before I got here. And when I made it to the park, that's when I stopped. I stopped using. I stopped using CBD THC oil and smoking weed because I was for my anxiety and depression. But I don't have it no more. I feel happy and I haven't felt this way ever ever that's a lot i mean when i was a kid yeah you had those happy moments but not like this this is contentment this is relaxation i can sleep eat and be happy i'd never take this for granted not once thank you all so very much for your continued love and support of this journey and it's only going to get better from here. I love you all. Have a great night. Talk to you later.